if you go to the computer graphics 910 site and go down to the blender technical workshop page and scroll to the bottom you'll find the batman logo that you can download and you can use for this brief project okay so we're going to use blender we're going to map the logo onto one of the sides of the cube the default cube so what we're going to first do is we're going to unwrap this cube and we're going to export a uh, unwrapped um, form of this cube and into, blend into uh, Photoshop. So first you need to tab um, into uh, you need to tab into uh, to edit mode and hitting tab and select all the faces so A to select all then you need to unwrap those faces so to um, view them unwrapped we're going to use the UV editor so down here we're going to open up the UV editor and that gives us this uh, one zero to one sort of um, image and anyway, we will go U up here to unwrap and um, see what happens. Um, now, Command Z will undo that. Um, what we need to do is we need to, we could either, um, we could go U and do a smart unwrap, and um, that will that will give us uh, all the faces uh, are not proportionately unwrapped, but we'll undo that. Um, what we're going to do is actually mark in the seams and unwrap it like a, a box and um, and we're going to tell Blender which um, edges we want to unfold. So to do that, you need to go into edge mode, select the edges, just hold down shift and click, select all the edges, you want something just like this, go along. Now this is all you need to do. And then you want to mark that. So control E and then mark seam. And you'll see the seams are red and that's where our box will unfold now so if I uh, if I am in face mode again and I go A select all the faces and then U for unwrap and just do a standard unwrap you'll see that it's unwrapped all the faces and um, like a box would unwrap if you were going to um, uh, get a, a knife and cut, cut along the um, the folds. So now there are ways you can see which is the correlating face um, and to do that you need to turn this little node on here and um, the UV selection and this will keep everything in sync so um, that the both the modes uh, the selected items will be in sync and you'll be able to see it so select that. So now if I select a face up here uh, I can see in the UV editor which face is um, being selected and where it's being mapped. And if I import an image or create an image to overlay here, uh, I can see where that image needs to be. So right mouse clicking here, vice versa, you can see uh, where that image is going to be mapped if I have it there. So what I'll do is I'll select um, this face is the one uh, that my logo will be on and um, we'll, we're going to do something in Photoshop. So what I need to do is um, I need to export this. So um, sorry, I'll export the UV layer and I'll just take it to, I've got a location um, that I'm going to take it to that I've kept my Batman logo and I'm just going to rename it uh, I'll call it my UV map and I'll export it okay now uh, open up Photoshop and now in Photoshop I can open up that PNG it's exported it as so I'll just go file here and we'll open PNG. 
PNG, so we'll just find that. Now it's gone to that file. So here's my UV map, and I'll open it. All right. So, okay, let's just see. I should have selected all of them and then exported it. So, I'm going to just replace that one with this one because they're all selected. So, let's just rename it. Same that we'll name it that. Okay. Let's go file opening. Right, so now you can see we've got uh, all our faces unwrapped. And um, now I just have to create some new layers and um, they can be underneath this layer and I can import the Batman logo. So I'll just, um, I only opened that recently, so I'll open it again in another, another file here. And I'll just um, drag the, I'm just gonna drag the logo up into my UV unwrapped and I'll go command T and rescale the logo so it sits in the middle of that cube in that face and I'm going to take a guess that it's actually on this angle scale it. Right, so things are going a bit slow because I'm running the screen capture at the same time. I'm going to hit return. Okay, and a black background as well. So I've added two layers. So I'm in this layer, uh, I'll the foreground color is black. Right. Command A, select all, and uh, Alt delete fills with black. Alright, so now, command D to deselect. So now I've got this black area, everything else, all the other faces will be black except this one with the Batman logo. So this is my new, this is going to be saved off as a new PNG and I'm going to re, I'm going to map, map this on to the faces. So I'm just going to go here and file, save as a PNG. So I need to save it, change the file type here to a PNG and I'm going to call it UV map just to make life easy and Batman and save it in that same folder All right so now I'm ready to import that and map that image onto the cube so back in back in blender uh, in uh, I'll tab just tabbed into object mode now and we need to oops we need to make sure that we're we need to make sure that we're in um, cycles uh, let's just get this in cycles uh, let's just get rid of Photoshop go away Photoshop uh, now I might just quit Photoshop Photoshop seems to be just persevering. Yeah, I force quit. Okay, so let's change to cycles render because this is the newest version and cycles is going to be enabling us to do some node editing. So first we just need to add a material. So we'll go to our material editor using nodes and We've selected a diffuse uh, material for our cube, and now we need to map uh, our image onto that material. And to do that, we need to be in the node editor. So here's what you see when you've got the material selected, the object selected, and it's been assigned a material. You see uh, diffuse BSDF material assigned to the surface of the object. Now we need to map an image that we've created which is the Batman PNG. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 
a texture, but it's an image texture, and we're going to map it from the color output to the color input, and we're going to choose the file, so our file, the Batman PNG, right. and now that's mapped to our cube. And we won't see it until we change our view mode to rendered. Um, and now we can see the Batman logo rendered onto, onto the cube. Um, now, obviously you're going to be able to make this more detailed or change things. We'll just, how about we just start? Uh, we'll just throw in a, a plane. Um, and scale it up, move it down a bit, and we'll just make that plane diffuse as well, and we'll throw a light in, and so we'll just, uh, Presets. I've just started using 2.71, so I'll just rotate that around. Uh, get into side view, rotate it around. All right, and assign a emitter for that object. Just give it a value of about 50. All right, so now. Let's go into rendered mode. There we go. Oh yeah, shining on the right face. So there you go. And um, I might go into more detail on on how you can actually um, map in more than just an image. There's specular mapping and bump mapping uh, that we can look at. But this is just a simple UV mapping project um, and uh, gives you an insight into the structure um, that you need to work with. And um, yeah, good luck with it.